more and more cases of the coronavirus in Maryland every day. WMER 2 News' Aaron McPherson found out that some people are more concerned about their pets than themselves. Well, I have a lot of concerns about the coronavirus because I'm older. Brenda Kaufman is 77 years old in the high risk group for COVID-19. She's taking every precaution to stay healthy, like Skyping with us, but she's still worried about getting sick, mainly because she won't know what will happen to her pets if she has to go to the hospital. I know that people are the big thing, but pets haven't been mentioned. She has five dogs. If you got sick, um, would you leave them to go to the hospital if there wasn't an option? Not if I could help it. If I had somebody that could come in, and which I'm trying to build up, then I could leave. But otherwise, I don't know what I would do. Jen Browse from Bark says they will take in pets if it's an absolute emergency, but it's really a last case scenario. She's encouraging all pet owners to prepare now. They really need to think through a plan of what would we do? It, can someone else take our animal? And if they need additional resources or they need more support for their animal, then they need to call us and we'll do what we can to, to support them as well. Right now, their focus is on getting as many animals adopted as they can. Right now we're in the phase of doing appointment style to try to manage what we have and try to keep getting animals placed and take in only emergency cases that need to come in that, that just don't have other options. They're also asking for certain donations. They can't accept used towels or blankets like normal, but they use box top lids as litter boxes for their cats, so they need those. Monetary donations are always appreciated as well since they had to cancel all their fundraisers because of the coronavirus. Every day uh, our situation in the shelter um, changes, so I would ask folks to call ahead of time. Um, if they want to help out, let us know, call us. Brow says they can use all the help they can get right now so they can in turn help others. And Kaufman thinks help should come from a higher level. The federal government is supposed to be doing something and maybe it comes down to the, the Maryland level and you know, even to the county, but we need something in place. She says the Pets Act of 2006 should be implemented. The Pets Evacuation and Transportation Standards Act was put into effect after Hurricane Katrina. We need to implement the Pets Act all across America right now so that if people with the coronavirus need to go in the hospital, they're going to have somebody there to take, they're going to have somebody that will take their pets and keep them safe. This law states FEMA would help people with household pets prior to, during, and following a major disaster or emergency. The coronavirus is a pandemic, which many would constitute as an emergency. In Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.